Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. Stocks go up, stocks go down, then we see, then we see, then we see. Wow, 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 wow. What a week last week. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You have to get better. There was an opportunity. So let's talk a little bit about NVIDIA and why 99% of the people on TV were morons and they're just stupid. I mean, let's, let's talk about as simple as it gets in life for fund managers, for people that have money, okay? I mean, if I was on TV, I would destroy these guys. These guys would probably get fired from their jobs, okay? So the video hits 393, and this is very simple. It was gonna retest 400, it just was. Nothing breaks straight down, okay? So when it breaks 400, every single fund Every single person in the world, in the world, if you're trading stocks, should be buying this with a 393 stop. Because if it goes back down, then it goes way lower and you lost seven points. And, but if it doesn't go lower, it can go up to probably 480, 520. So you have 120 points of possible gain and you have seven points of possible loss. I'm confused. Why wouldn't every single person do this? Right? Very, 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 very straightforward. We did the 410s, then we did the more, and we did, how about the trade? Thursday, we bought the 445s, and they went to 7 from 1. The 4, 410s went to 52, 42. I mean, you never get that opportunity. What happened with NVIDIA is so rare that you are given this opportunity. You never get this opportunity that you can risk 7 points down to make 50 to 100 points up. And their clowns are like, oh my God, it goes to 350. Everybody that knows anything. Now, they've got to change that. And say so maybe only 1% or 2% of the people in the world know this because all the rest of them are morons. It's really, really that simple. It was that simple. Okay? Netflix. It hit. 421 and it dropped two. Within within 10 seconds it dropped two. It took an hour. It went back to 421 and within 10 seconds it dropped two. Wow. Sam says if it goes over 421, 422 now, it goes up 10. Close up 10, went up 15. This is not rocket science. This is why Sam watches hundreds of stocks and he watches the price action. And then you see, and then you see, and then you see. I mean, th these two were so straightforward and simple. Okay? Now you have Caterpillar trying to go. Caterpillar goes up, goes up. Eight dollars on earnings. Their earnings were that great. And immediately drops twenty one. Because the CEO says bookings are low. Who gives a shit about bookings? I only care about deliverables. I I don't care if somebody's gonna order a tractor in three years from now. He didn't lower guidance. He didn't lower guidance. After saying it's the best environment he ever seen. Those are two cents. And they went to $2. Wow. Wow. Okay? Interesting, interesting. Lily, two opportunities are coming, and I don't know when they're coming, but they're coming to make a ridiculous amount of money. So have some money in a separate account. You're waiting for these items. Okay? Lily says before the end of the year, Manjaro is going to be approved. Well, this is November. You have. 60 days for that to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen, 
or when it happens, if it happens like on a Wednesday, on a Wednesday or Thursday, we're going to take a shot, 10 points out of the money and a dollar every single week. Things if it happens, one goes to 20. Now, you can't go 10 points out today because they're not going to be a dollar. They're going to be $4. $5. And you don't know when it's going to happen. But let's say it doesn't happen till the end of November, you have four chances. It's going to happen before the end of the year. It's going to rock it. And it's going to rock it. When it happens, it's going to rock it. Then there's MicroStrategy. I actually think MicroStrategy, if it happens on a Thursday, or Wednesday or Thursday, you can get 20 points out of the money for a dollar. And that dollar may go to 100. It may go to 100. Because I think Bitcoin is going to move ten to $20,000 within a month once the ETFs are approved. I think it's going to move that fast. I don't know when it's going to happen. Maybe it doesn't happen for a year. I don't know. But what I don't know is when it happens, I don't care if I'm 50 points out of the money, I'm going to go pay five bucks. And they're going to go to 100. They're going to go that fast. And I don't know when. But that's what you're waiting for. Okay, that's what you're waiting for. Interesting, interesting, interesting. NOW is starting to move. It held 600. That's a tell. Look, don't evaluate what you think in the market. I don't care what you think. I don't care what your experience tells you. All I care about right now is the rate breaking 4.5, and now it's 4.6, so it actually went up, and the rate going to 4.3. If it goes to 4.3, everything is going to rip. If it goes to 4.8, everything is going to crave it. Look at it really, really, really is that simple. Okay? So now you can use TLT. There's a rate. These are just indicates. TLT goes up, rates go down. TLT goes down, rates go up. Same thing with TNX. You can want TNX is up, means rates are high. TNX is down, rates are low. Very straightforward. Just watch, just watch, just watch, just watch. Okay? Fortnite. Fortnite misses, guides down and says, everything is shit. Now, they did that last time. And then Palo Alto went to 200. 200. And then the CEO said it was great and went up $40. Went up $40. Okay? There are shit companies that think that they're good companies. Fortnite is not one of them. If I have to rank them, you got PanW, CrowdStrike, Vscaler, Nat, Anat, and Fortnite goes into, they're like, eh, they're not the Cowboys. They're better than my, or they're the worst than the Cowboys. They're like, they're, they're like, I don't know, Arizona Cardinals. Complete shit. So if, if complete shit company tells you something, don't even listen. Okay? And don't buy complete shit company. Okay? Today you want to watch land research because if the chips are truly getting better, and VI and Vago and all the chips are getting better, then land research has to rest. And that's it. We had a great week. So now you chill and you wait, you chill and wait. You relax a little bit, okay? Don't have to force trade, wait. NVIDIA is up $60. It can go down 15 and it's fine. It's fine. Okay? Let's see if CMG can take out high. See if BKNG can take out high. And then we see, and then we see, and then we see. Okay, that's what we know. Okay, so let's get started here. SPX was up. This is not even working. What the hell is going on here? Um, what was that? We'll just start it back up. Not working. Okay. 
Who knows? Let's see at the five that puts it at 4373, 4372, 4400, downside 4300. Avaga, 887, 902, 906. NVIDIA, 570, 472, 431. Adobe, 576, underneath 551. Netflix, 439, 446, underneath 409. Look, we played Netflix. I, I still don't. I think Netflix is garbage. It's okay. Doesn't mean you don't play it. Because if the news and the action tells you to play it, you play, go play it. Doesn't mean you, you buy it and hold it for 20 years. CMG, 2072. MicroStrategy, 472, but it trades on Bitcoin. Land Research, 642. Lily. 591, Snowman, 151, 157, Caterpillar, 243, 251, UPSC Earnings. Does it work? I don't know. 3139, Tan W, 251, BKNG, 2926, 2952, SMCI, 272, Shopalition, 63, NOW, 616, Microsoft, 361, 366, Tesla, 226, 216. That's what we know. That's what we know. Let me go get to comments, questions, and that's what we know. Very straightforward. TNX is up. You want to see if rates come down. If it breaks 4.5, we're going to rock it. We're going to just rock it up. If it goes to 4.8, we're going to cave. Nothing hard here. Everybody have a great trend day. Stay in chat.